All right. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Legend of the Three Kingdoms. Yes, this is uh, currently my only uh, 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 custom D&D &D game uh, I'm running, but who knows? That may ch change s soon in in enough. Uh, but, but below me, you s see the p people p playing uh, or their a avatars, and um, yeah, let, let, let's uh, let's just ch ch jump right in to the get your game. Uh, so to b b bring us b b b back, uh, recently, as you guys were trying to get to the nearest major c city uh, in, in, in Fenrish, uh, you came across a rather unusual uh, place where there was c coral everywhere and, and um, uh, and strange things you could smell like sea spray and th things like that and as you guys uh, 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 investigated you were uh, attacked by two things that just c came out of the water and it attacked you randomly um, plus uh, uh, a lizard man and some snake c c creature uh, and after handling the the two uh, reptilian ones the two water creatures just kind of they disappeared and you guys were able to look around a little more and found what seems to be the source of all the water you guys are seeing around you uh, and as uh, t t two of you were s starting to investigate it, that's where we ended the last s session. S s so, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, three of you are uh, up on a cliff that's about t t 20 feet ab above the uh, uh, plane where the... the thing is on uh, two of your flying because why not so what would you like to, to, to do i believe our gent and i were looking really close at this thing but i don't know what we saw because i believe we ended right before we found out mm -hmm. so was it Henri or genta that wanted to get really close to I'm like five feet from it. That was just next to uh, Argenta. Okay. Just a second. Uh, okay. So, uh, Argenta, you kind of fly down and get really close. You can see in the middle of this kind of s swirling mass that water is just kind of pouring out of. Uh, almost like a mini waterfall in its center. You do s s see from where you are, you can see what looks like, you're not sure, maybe a, a, it's definitely disc shaped where it's very very thin almost flat but it's also perfectly s s circular and it has kind of a sh sheen t t t to it but with all the water out there uh, even from five feet away you're just ha having a hard time s seeing what it is there's something in there but I can't there's too much water in the way Hmm. Could I see what happens if I I want to Argenta? I suggest we stay back for a second. Uh, right, I'll I'll fly like ten feet back. 
I'm going to fly similar distance. So I guess we'd be right there. And I'm going to see what happens if I use Mage Hand to tug on that disc that Argenta saw. Okay. So as you create the Mage Hand and you watch it attempt to grasp this d d disc, uh, the spell just stops. And the Mage Hand vanishes. Well, it didn't explode. I mean, my only other thought is just firing stuff at it. Hmm. You're more likely to hit the water, though, aren't you? Yeah. And if my if Mage Hand did nothing, then chances are what will, you know, actual beams of magic do? Probably nothing. Probably. As you two are having this conversation. Argenta, for whatever reason, at first you're you're up there flying with Henri, and you guys are just c conversing like you normally would. But without you realizing it, you keep just glancing away from the conversation t t to look at it. And as the conversation c keeps going, you're finding it harder and harder to pull your gaze off from it. And in your chest, you feel this kind of aching pull t t towards it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long it's been since I cast fly, but I would be flying closer to the ground just so I don't fall. Uh, it's, it's, so how long does fly last? Ten minutes, and I cast it when I was when I uh, popped back up from my uh, being unconscious. Yeah, um, you guys are probably at this point get, getting close to the t ten minute mark. Maybe a couple more minutes. Okay, then I would just land on that little island away from that thing before it wears off. Okay, I'll just land over here. As your feet touch the ground and you can feel this spell starting to wear off, uh, at this point you can't take your eyes away from the, the, the disc. And I would like you to, to make me a charisma save. Me or Argento? Argento. Sorry, I'm looking right at Argenta. I don't know why you guys can't tell. <laughs> like I'm even making c contact with her avatar. I mean, seriously, guys, look around. Uh, 16. 16. Okay, as you're s sitting there focusing on it, you suddenly start realizing it's getting c closer t t to you. And c closer. And you can't t take your eyes off it, but you're t trying to figure out how it's moving. And you realize it's not moving. You are. And when you're only uh, about three or four feet away, you suddenly kind of come to your s s senses. And sort of regains some control over your b b b body. Um, and as uh, you, you get to the point where you can actually ch choose whether or not you want to keep getting closer or move away, you see a sh shimmer of s s something, movement almost, in this disc. What would you like t t t to do? I'm going to back up about five feet and just watch that movement to see what happens. Uh, uh, with how c compelled you are t t to this, uh, you, you don't think you're going to have the strength to move just f five feet. The ch choice you have is either kind of sit there and let happen whatever is going to ha happen or c completely b b break away. I'll completely break away. That right. makes more. 
so, so you guys watch. Do you want to break left or right? Right. Okay. So you guys watch as our uh, our gen tech keeps slowly moving closer and closer, eyes fixed on a single point, and suddenly she just shakes her head and dives out of the way, ten feet, splashing into the water. As you uh, do that, you reach to get some air, uh, but but you're having a hard time just standing up again, even though the water is not that deep, maybe two or three feet. Every time you try to stand up, your legs slips out from under you, or your uh, uh, the the uh, the bed of the uh, uh, water will just kind of get really thick, and you'll sink in t- t- too far. And suddenly, you start realizing you're running out of a- a- air, and the water is getting he- heavier and heavier. And I need a strength saving throw. All right. Ooh, not good. One. All right, as you're sitting there, you kind of get up and almost get uh, 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 to a place where you can take a, a, a gulp of air. As soon as you do, water kind of just drifts up and slams you in the face, uh, actually bruising your face a little bit with the force, and you get launched down t- t- to the bottom of the r- r- river. Um, you take... 13 b- 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 bludgeoning damage, and you are now g- g- grappled and r- r- restrained. All right. Uh, seeing Argenta struggle, I would like to jump down and try to assist her. Uh, as that's happening, uh, uh, you, j- you jump down, and, and uh, Henri, you watch as the water that's already kind of moving in the, the bizarre d- d- directions kind of leaps up at, at you, and I need a strength save from you. Oh. Come on, Talos and Jaffe, bless this roll. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, it wasn't blessed. <laughs> mm. That's a, a two after modifier. So you take 13 b- 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 bl- bl- bludgeoning d- d- damage. Unconscious. And are d- d- dragged into the water as well. And you are g- g- grappled and restrained. So as that happens, Vala, you are falling from uh, uh, the top. Uh, because it's 20 feet, you do take some falling damage. Mm-hmm. Five, seven total Seven total bludgeoning damage. And you can see, as you g- get there, you watch as Henri is pulled into the water uh, uh, unconscious. You can see just a little bit of blood starting to leak out of his mouth. As you can see, uh, Argenta th- thrashing against whatever is attacking her. And at this point, I'd like everyone to roll for initiative. All right, I'm using Google's dice roller. Screw this app. (laughs) I do not have the good luck with apps for dice rolling. I don't have space on my desk for actual dice anymore. <laughs> All right. Argenta. Twenty. Vala. A mighty nine. <laughs> Lillian. Twenty six. Holy crap. Did you get a nat to 20? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 Henri. 11. And c- 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 
commander. 28. <laughs> wow. Oh. Rolled decently for a negative. Still, most of the party goes ahead of me. <laughs> so we're going to start with uh, um, Valus. Since you acted so quickly, I will give, give you... Uh, a single action to go with the move you just took. Excellent. I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to light up the water. Is it the, the, the dex? Uh, it is a dexterity saving throw. Okay. And I need you to point out specifically where you're aiming it. Okay. It's So it's a 20-foot cube. Which means it's 20 feet on each side, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, I... Four squares. Okay. I am going to have the center of it then be right there. Okay. What's the DC? It is 17. Okay. As you sit there and this... Do uh, you have a preference to color? Um... Normal Fire. pinkish purple. Oh, let's go with a pink, a light pink. Okay. So as these pink flames leap from your fingertips and the bathe everything, uh, I d d do need a um a d deck save from our Jujujenta. Uh, Henri, you just fail because you're incapacitated. Uh, and since Nin you're Nin strained, it'll be with the disadvantage. But it's advantage because I can see Vala. Ah. Yeah, mm -hmm. So it's 19. Uh, cool. Uh, so Vala, as you uh, coat this area in this pink flame, you watch it stick t t t to uh, the unconscious form of uh, Henri and nothing else. Damn. So now we go to the top of the order. C -c 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 Commander. Uh, so I don't know if this is going to do anything to help, but I'm going to try out anyways. Uh, I'm going to burn a grit and do a forceful shot on the one on Henri. Um, but you can't technically see, so you're just shooting the water. Oh, okay. I don't, uh, uh, you guys sh shouldn't be able to s see the c creatures, right? With fairy fire? On the map. Oh, we the can... fairy fire didn't work. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, it only tagged me. So you can see Henri really well. <laughs> uh, hmm. You can s still do what you're doing. Doing, uh, but since you can't see the creature, it'll be a disadvantage. Do the fact that they're yeah, yeah. currently g g grappling to some of your friends. Um, I think you know the rough area they're in. Yeah, but it's be disadvantage. That's fine. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll give it a shot just because. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to do a forceful shot, which uh, they need to make. If I hit, they make a strength saving throw or push 15 feet away. I wanted to see if I could push it off mm -hmm. of Henri. Go, 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 go for it. Uh, 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 17. Uh, all right. As you s sit there and sh shoot into the water, the normal s splash you're expecting doesn't c c come. There's a ripple. Obviously, it, it, it impacts, but whatever you hit is heavier than water. Um, you said it's strength save? Yes. What's the d d d d c c c c uh, 16. Well, that's a four. <laughs> uh, and with that, uh, you fire in, and you see these large uh, 
ripples in the water just <coughs> fly. All the way to he here. And you watch as Henri's body just slowly starts to sink. Well, crap, I didn't mean to do that one. All right. Well, it's only two, three feet of water. Okay. So before he was kind of sus suspended, and now he's just kind of laying there. Okay. Um. And it's, it's a long way away. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and try. No, I, I'm better at distance. I'm gonna stay where I am and use the rest of it to just reload. Okay. So after firing his shot, Commander pops open uh, his gun and puts four more bullets in. Clicks it shut. He gets ready. Uh, next. Up, uh, um, can I cross the dirt area? Uh, that's a c c cliff. So if you want to just jump down, you can. Or you can try to c c climb down. It's coral, so there's lots of j jagged edges and things like that um but b because it's c c coral uh you're not sure how strong parts of it are and there are sh sharp e edges that could uh, hurt you on the c c climb down so it's uh, up to you to you jump or c c c climb how far down 20 foot drop mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I did jump down. Okay. So as you c c c go down, go ahead and make me an acrobatics ch ch check. Okay. Uh, uh, that will be a... Nine. All right. As you drop down, you take nine bludgeoning d d damage. Uh, and when you hit, you don't quite land it correctly, and you end up prone uh, uh, on the ground. But that only took five feet of movement. Uh, so, it's going to be. So, it's be right here. Oh, oh, get up and up. Try to up. Oh, try to throw some rope to up. I'm dead at you. Okay, uh, did you just make me a uh, dexterity uh, uh, attack roll? Uh, so. <laughs> oh, that's foreshadowing. Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so yeah, you sit there and you t t toss a rope in his d d direction. Uh, it hits the uh, wall of c c coral next to you. It doesn't end up getting near enough to our Genta at all. Uh, Anything else? Um, no. Alright, that brings us to our I am going to rage and try and break myself free. Okay, it's a strength athletics check. I'm restrained, so but I'm raging, so it's a normal roll. Mm -hmm. 
uh, 20. Yeah, you don't have much problem at all. You kind of rip yourself away from these tendrils of water that are t trying to drown you. You get your footing, stand up, get a, a big lung full of air. Uh, anything else you want to do? do, 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 do? I'm going to move over here. Okay. As you move, uh, a t tendril of water leaps up and t t tries to s s smack you. Does a t t 22 hit? Yeah. 13 points of bludgeoning damage as this pillar of water comes and just slams into you. All right. That'll end my turn. Next up is going to be water. Uh, so first, water c c comes over for Vala, and I need a strength save from you. Bring it. My power comes from the living embodiment of flame. <laughs> um, strength saving throw. Good, that's a bonus of zero. It's a total of nine. You uh, feel the water kind of get around you uh, and start c crushing your lungs. You take 13 b b b bludgeoning damage. This is fine. And you are dragged into the very d d d deep water and just keep going d d d down. Oh. Mm. Uh, for Lillian and our Genta, I need strength saves from. Oh shoot! Hold on a second. Actually, uh, uh, that doesn't ha 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 happen because I didn't roll to uh, get that ability with the back. Mm. So instead, two big columns of water turning into a 23 and a 17 attack you, uh, Vala. Those, those both hit me. Uh, 13 bludgeoning damage each as they come and just mm. slam you into the ground t -t twice. And then... The thing just fades away. Um, I would like to use my reaction sure. to uh, do Hellish Rebuke. Oh, right. Is that a save? Uh, you point your finger at a creature that damaged you and is momentarily surrounded by Hellish Flames. The creature must make a dexterity saving throw. Just one knee. That succeeds. Um, so it takes half damage on a success. So, and I'm casting this at, uh, first level. So 2d10 okay. plus, uh, 5. Mm, okay. Uh, so that it, uh, 20, half is 10. that does that the uh, other creature comes up and just starts trying to wail on our g g g g genta okay. nat 20 yeah mm. and uh 15 misses do you take 20 
two points of the bludgeon damage. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, it uh, slithers back into the water. Next up is Henri, who is unconscious again. I'm leaving my fate up to roll 20. Don't know <laughs> if I it, but let's go. That's a dangerous idea. Yeah, oh, there, there's one fail. <laughs> Great. Uh, Air bu bu bubbles seem to slow as they're leaving his mouth. Uh, Vala. I, I will see those little bubbles mm -hmm. coming from the the uh, fairy fire, and I will just whisper the word "friend" and cast healing word at third level. Okay, go ahead and roll. So. Okay. Um, 14 hit points. Hey, I look forward to losing those in like two seconds. <laughs> so as you come to consciousness, you, you realize there is no air in your lungs. And you are currently conscious and suffocating. Um, okay, so that was my bonus action. Mm-hmm. I can cast a cantrip, correct? Yes. That is an action? Okay. Um, and can I see any of those watery guys? No, they... They're all in the water. They disappeared into the water. Then, uh, can, I, can I hold my action until I see one? Sure. Okay, I will hold... Um, Uh, I will hold a flame bolt, okay, or a fire bolt until I see one of them pop up. I was about to say, not a spell I'm familiar with, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> uh, but, but, but brings us back to commander. Uh, are there any like rocks or anything heavy near me where I'm at? Uh, there, there um, are. Uh, Outcroppings here, here uh, where the waterfall is, where there's bits of large pieces of coral that are just kind of j -j jutting out. Yeah. Um, what specifically are you looking for? Something heavy enough to hold a person if I were to tie a rope to it. Hmm. Make me uh, a perception. Uh, perception. Uh, fifteen. All right, looking around, you see, right over here, uh, you, you can see what looks like a um, uh, outcropping of coral that seems pretty s sturdy. Uh, I didn't see it. Didn't uh, highlight anything when you pointed to anything. You're not seeing the circle? No. It might be because I'm in the wrong layer. Ah, okay. Uh, so I'm going to move there. And uh, I have, what do I have? I have a pack. Yeah. 50 feet of rope. Yeah, I'm going to tie my rope to that, and I'm going to throw it down to, to them. Uh, t t tying the rope would be your action. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you have no problem t t tying a rope to it as you t t tie it. It seems strong. You don't feel any give or anything. Uh, okay. Just to toss the rope down. I want to hold on to it in case anybody wants to try and climb. Uh, anything else? Um, that's my action. No, I don't have anything else. All right. 
literally ain't. You're muted, by the way. There we go. Yeah, I did. No, no. Um. So is. The rope is 50 feet long, so there's actually 30 feet to play with there. Alright, um... I will... still in the water you can see him kind of gasping for air as he's uh, under water yeah uh, it's, it's, it's not very di difficult because it's only like i said t t two three feet of water it's not very difficult uh, you'll have to move next to him uh but just to kind of grab his arm and p p pick him up uh it's not hard at all Alright, I don't care about I um, So, are no longer suffocating. <laughs> am I still here or am I moved somewhere? No, if he wants to move you, that's more than just picking you up that would be a grapple ch 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 check uh but to just p p pick you up that's just an I interaction that I, I i won't count as any sort of a a a a action you want to actually do, do, do drag him uh, yeah. I'll need you to, 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 to uh, well that'll be your a action to go, 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 yeah. grapple him yeah okay so yeah uh, again not difficult to bring him back he doesn't weigh that much but his robes now that they're soaked add like an extra 30 <laughs> expensive 30 pounds yeah <laughs> So do I get to be a grapple? No, no not, not just to, 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 to drag it. Uh, if you were breaking it out of it, some, someone else's grapple, they'd be a uh, uh, So where do you drag me to, Lillian? Um, back where, where I am now. Yeah. So now you're on the, the, the coral there. You're able to breathe. You're coughing a little bit of water that got into your lungs. It's only a matter of time. Mm. Anything else? Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm done. All right, uh, Argenta. All right, seeing that Henri is not drowning and I don't have to <laughs> pull him out of the water for the second time, um, <laughs> I'm going to recklessly attack where I got attacked before, just kind of slamming my flail into the water. <laughs> Make an attack roll, roll with disadvantage. But it's reckless, so it's a normal roll. Oh, yeah. Straight attack. Um, that's going to be a 20 to hit. Splash. That <laughs> water will never attack you again. I don't hit anything. You hit water, but it mm. doesn't hit back or feel like it catches on anything like it has done every t other t time you've hit this creature. It's just water. Mm. I'm going to move five feet forward and do it again. <laughs> All right. Make me another attack roll. Uh, 
17. More H2O that will never hurt anyone again. <laughs> All right. Then I'll just move to land. <laughs> uh, anything else? Nope. Right then. So it's wrong to do that. All right. Too good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Lillian and Henri, I need strength saves. Oh. Twenty hasn't failed me yet. Oh, wow, never mind. Uh, Vala, uh, you you do notice a large mound of water come up and start to envelop the, the, both of them. I would like to hit it. Go 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 for it. Now it is within five feet of you when you notice it, so the attack will be made with the. Disadvantage. That's probably unnecessary. Well, maybe. So that was a five. That's fourteen. So five plus nine is thirteen to hit. Nothing. That's some slippery water, guys. It, it, it is. Uh, Lillian. I rolled a twenty-five on my save. Pushed out of the way. Uh, Henri? 18 minus 1. Wow. I know. You get pushed out of the way as well. As the creature dejectedly looks at its empty innards and just slurps but back into the water. Uh, it did go far enough out of the water that you can both take opportunity attacks before it disappears. Uh, cool. Uh, can you give me a wisdom save because I'm finally using my Warcaster <clears throat> for Toll the Dead? Uh, what your wisdom score is. Negative 20. New. Uh, is this one damaged? Uh, yes, it, it, it is. Uh, I'm Ten points of necrotic damage. Uh, it is not pleased with you. I will to take a swing, you just b b barely miss it as it s slumps back, back back into the water. <clears throat> From b b b behind you, Ar Argenta, suddenly two p pillars of water raise up, come c c crashing down on your head. Okay. That's <clears throat> 20. Yep. And that's 21. Yep. 22 bludgeoning d d d d damage uh, from the first hit and uh, 13 from the second. All right. And it's going to, 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 to reach treat again, but is enough out of the water that you can t t take a swing at it before it d disappears. Which I'll do. Um, that's going to be a 21 to hit. It definitely hits. That's 11 bludgeoning. Is, is your uh, weapon magical or no? I have no magical weapons. Okay. How much damage? 11. All right, and it slinks back into the water. Uh, that 
b- brings us to uh, Henri. Well, I'm probably going to do something stupid here. But I'm going to move up where that disc was and try to stab it with my dagger, the silvered one. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Uh, as you g- g- go forward, uh, you kind of have to fight through a little bit of the water c- coming out and kind of the mist from it splashing down. And as you get c- close, you, j- j- just like uh, uh, Argenta, can actually see what it looks like the, 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 the disc is. And as you go to stab it, your hand goes straight through and suddenly gets very, very cold. And as you're sitting there kind of looking at your hand going through this flat disc, suddenly you feel chills up your entire arm and then your chest. uh, And then your uh, uh, throat and head and face and legs everything just feels very very cold and suddenly all around you gets very very dark like something's just passed in front of the sun and as you look around you're not standing on anything you're just floating in this kind of murky nothing as you look around, you see b- b- bubbles c- coming out of your mouth, d- drifting somewhere. It's hard to t- t- tell where uh, uh, up and d- d- down is. And as you look around, you see a vast emptiness of water. As far as you can s- see, you look what you think will be up and there's water. You look down, there's water around you. Everywhere is just water. For the rest of you, Henri just blinks out of existence. Hmm. Uh. Henri, as you're looking around, you're trying to figure out where the light is coming from. And you look behind you, and there's this small circle of light. That as you look at it, you can see the coral and everything, but it's almost if it's behind glass. And as you kind of float away from it, because there seems to be a current in here, you look around to try and figure out what the current is, and you can see what you mistook as just emptiness. You think you can see, like, maybe the side of a a cliff or something uh, uh, underwater, and as you look at it, and your uh, eyes are adjusting to seeing underwater, you can start to pick out little uh, outcroppings on it, and things like jutting out of rocks and things like that. Uh, And it's big. You think it might be uh, like the undersea part of an uh, island or something. As you look at it more, the entire wall moves. Yeah, that's not playing into my nightmare of being on a little boat with something big below me. Not at all. And it moves fast. And you're thinking, you're uh, understanding where that current uh, is coming from. Because anything moving that much mass through water will create a vacuum behind it. I'm pretty sure I'm out of movement and everything, so... Anything else you wanted to do with your t- 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 turn? Uh, start prepping a backup character. <laughs> At this point, you, you're only about 15 feet away from this circle, but you are moving away from it due to, due to this current. Yeah, I, 
pretty sure it took uh, 10, 20, 25 to get to that thing. So I think I have like five feet left. So. Uh, and moving is the, 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 uh, uh, underwater is a half speed. So. Yeah. Um, let's go to, to Vala. You just watched uh, Henri wink out of existence. Well, that's not good. Um. I don't like this. Uh, I am going to... Uh, I want to try the Misty Step up to the top of the cliff. Easy enough. Okay. So I'm going to pop up there and walk over here. So I'm a little bit further away from that waterfall. Mm -hmm. Um... And then I will. Good idea to do that. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to hold my action until I see something. All right. Uh, what are you prepping? Um, I'm going to do an Eldritch Blast. All right. Uh, um, yeah, that, that, that goes back to, to, to top of the order. C -c -c Commander. I don't know what to do. So, <laughs> huh. <laughs> well, you have your rope. Yeah, that wasn't meant for me so much as it was other people, but other people are gone. This and you know this. Apparently, yeah. no one else. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, so, I am going to a note from uh, Vala, and I'm going to hold my attacks until I see something come out. I'm holding a, another forceful shot. Oh, uh, I, I, did you uh, uh, um, roll damage on that last forceful sh shot? I did not. I just forgot to do that, too. Thank you. Uh, plus. I mean, it had the, the desired effect, but, but it also did the, the, the damage. Uh, 13. I do that all the time with my my um, my monk. Mm -hmm. He's just a stun monkey. So I go in and I stun people. And then the DM's like, oh, you, you do the damage with that as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. Uh, cool. Uh, so, so now uh, you're just holding your, your attack until you see something to me? Yeah, I see either something comes up near us or something comes out for uh, Argenta. Okay. Not a problem. Uh, Lillian. Uh, I will try to get to where I saw Argenta here. Okay. It's not too too difficult to get there, but you are getting just covered in uh, remarkably cold water, um, and there's like mist and everything from slamming against the c c coral. Uh, uh, if I get cold enough, I want to see I am seeing it. Um, sure. Um, make me an Investigation check. Okay. So, peering into it again, you, you see this the, the disc, but you can see th through the, the, the disc into this kind of murky the, the, the darkness, and you do, do, do see it. It takes you a little for your eyes to adjust, but you do eventually see the g g g glowing mark on Henri's face, and then his eyes, and you can see the panic in his eyes. As you look closer, you also see this kind of wall with outcroppings, and you watch it move as well. And you watch as Henri seems to be slowly moving away as he's kind of g g grasping t t towards this uh, uh, 
did the disc. Alright, um... Can I, um... I don't know if it would be another thing, um... Can I try to get a piece of rope to it, but would that be another action? Uh, you, you haven't t taken an action yet. Oh. Uh, looking was just looking. That's your free action, free interaction. Oh, all uh, right. So if you want to feed a rope through, you can. Yeah, I'll feed my rope. Ooh. Okay, so as you start to feed the rope through, the first thing you notice is as soon as it t t touches this the, the disc, you feel kind of a pull for a second, and then the, the rope itself, which is hemp, right? It's the yeah. 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 Uh, it instantly gets heavier as it swells with water, like you've been s soaking it for the last t t two days. And you... Feed it through. How, how much do you want to feed through? Oh, baby, right. You got a t total of 50 feet. Baby, right. 50 feet. Okay. So that'll take. Hey, oh, oh, try to yell. Oh, I agree. Oh, tell me that it can't be. So as you feed it through, um, it starts pulling more and more, but you eventually get a little over half, and you kind of wrap it around your, your arm and step back a little bit to anchor it. And you can actually feel just the current pulling on it. And it's actually uh, it's cold enough that it's actually hurt hurting a little bit to hold it. If you've ever hold something really cold. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be, it'd be so, uh, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it's <laughs> That initial feeling when you b b break through the ice and your jeans just instantly yeah. freeze. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, Argento. I am going to hold my action until I can see one of those things again. I'm going to smack it. All right. Uh, it's water time. All right. So, Argenta, mm -hmm. you do, 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 do notice a creature appear b b behind you and go and envelop b b both you and um, uh, Liliang. You want to take your attacks? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's going to be a 21 and a 19. Uh, or I'll just do that. B b both hit. Go ahead and roll the, the, the damage. 11 and 9. A 20 total, and a, I think it's halved. All right. Uh, so strength saves from you and Lillian. Natural 20. All right, you're fine. You're 10. Wet now. You are not as fine. You take 13 b b b bludgeoning d d d d damage. Good. And start getting d d d dragged into the water. Um, well, that's the uh, choice you have. Uh, you can hold on to the rope. Or uh, you can let it to go as you feel yourself being pulled away. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay. 
so you start getting pulled, and you can get pulled about 10 feet away as you watch the rope get pulled out a little bit. Uh, and you get pulled down uh, and are uh, grappled and restrained. Uh, Not Argento, it's Gradius again. Uh, you two up to top. Mm -hmm. You see out of the river near you, uh, this big creature start c c coming up. Uh, and I guess I c can give you a ch choice. Uh, you d d did see the thing attack Argento and Lillian. Uh, did you want to use it then or not, not now? Uh, I would have used mine on the one that I saw okay. down below, since I I noticed that one first. Okay, okay, okay. So that was a 20 to hit. It, it definitely hits. Uh, there's t two of them at this level. Uh, I Sorry, no, I was doing Firebolt. Oh, sorry, I thought you said uh, Eldritch b b b Blast before. You did. I did? Oh, then. Yeah. Okay, so twenty. Same as um yeah, yeah it's still the same attack roll and then it's uh one d10 force damage mm -hmm. so that's n a mighty nine points of damage against it <laughs> and then you have your second bolt and then you have a second one Ooh, that second bolt is 22. It could definitely hit, hit, hit. Roll the, the, the damage. and three points of damage to that one all right uh commander your choice in this matter? Uh, we'll go after the one next to us and use that forceful shot to boy. Okay, sh sure. Um, make okay. your shot. I believe you've got t t two of them. Yeah. So first one is forceful. Mm -hmm. It's a 20, not natural. Definitely hit hits. Roll the damage. Uh, that's uh, 19. Oh, wait, sorry, no, not 19. Uh, uh, nah, uh, 13. Sorry, uh, did you do doing math? That's right. All right, Nick is blown back. Oh, a strength saving throw, though. Oh, so strength saving. Uh, 15? 16. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you're going back 15 feet. Uh, going to take your second sh shot. Uh, yeah. Uh, this, uh, 28 to hit. They're definitely. Is this another forceful or is it no, no, no? Uh, 10 points. Okay, and is this forceful or no, 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 no? No, it's, it's just normal. Okay. All right. It looks pissed because it, it doesn't have any more m m movement and it, it disappears into the water. Uh, that's it for the water creatures. Henri, as you're getting pulled away, you suddenly see Lillian's face kind of block out the light for a second. And then you see a rope start moving t towards you. And right when it's just about within your reach, it gets pulled. <laughs> It's like when you're fishing and you, you just get two page with bobs. Uh, panicked, I'm going to start swimming towards that Teletubby-like face. <laughs> uh, do, do you want to tr 
trying because uh, the r rope is only about t 10 feet away from you uh, yeah we, i'd be swimming after the rope okay okay uh j just make me a s straight up the, the dex check check okay uh oops not 1d0 <laughs> Those I can do, apparently. <laughs> 20. Zero. Can you hear me? Uh, what was it? 22. Oh, you're fine. As you kind of swim forward, you sit there, you grab the rope uh, and start using it to kind of pull. Uh, Lillian, uh, make me a strength. Uh, athletics check. Uh, uh, you feel the rope itself get a lot heavier and you start feeling it pull away from you as you're fighting with this creature. Uh, as you feel it pull away and there's something on the other end, you start pulling as much as you can while you're fighting this creature. <laughs> Andre, you feel the, the rope getting pulled and you're getting closer and closer to this uh, 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 opening. And you just, for a second, you could glance at the back and you don't see <laughs> wall there anymore we might learn what's stronger that big <laughs> creature or water <laughs> elemental <laughs> and as you kind of glance trying to figure out what it where it went you suddenly see something g g glowing in the, the, the distance just a small point of light that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and as you look at it, it blinks out for a second and then appears for a second. And you realize it is a massive keep-sized eye moving rapidly towards you. And it suddenly, oh, gets, uh, it's, it suddenly gets obscured by something c c closer that g g glints with almost a metallic look. And as you watch this massive mouth, large enough to s swallow a s city, it looks like, opens with rows and rows of these uh, mountain-sized teeth. As it gets c closer and closer, you s suddenly feel yourself thrust into the air. You gasp for air as you land right back where you started hit the hard coral and you see a rush of water gets spewed out of uh, the, the, the disc right after you. how much movement do I have left I'm going to say that you used up all your movement you're also currently prone okay uh well i can't really do much uh do you have disadvantage on strength saves you're prone no okay then i'm just gonna stay where i am and i'm just gonna hold uh cantrip i don't know if it's gonna work the way i want it to but i'm still gonna try it so i'm just gonna hold uh thaumaturgy for when i see one of these guys Okay. <laughs> uh, you guys watch as Henri blinks back into to existence, covered in water, uh, and uh, you can see just uh, uh, in his uh, eyebrows and, and little bits of his hair, there's actually a little bit of frost, it looks like. Well, I can't see anything. Um, you can go see what I saw. I, I can do that. 
I mean, it's cold and wet, so perfect environment for lava. Uh, right. I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I could create a bonfire to warm everybody up. Um, or, or, um, uh, I will inspire commander. Be like, you, you got this, you got this with musical undertones. <laughs> um, and, uh, I, I'll hold firebolt. Right. Um, you got this. <laughs> uh, actually, no, I take that back. I am going to hold... Cause I can hold a bonus action, correct? Uh, technically, you can only hold an action. What did you want to do? Uh, I was going to hold casting Hex as my action. Oh. Uh, you, you know what? Um, yeah, I'll. Uh, but you use your b b b bonus action to. Oh, that's right. Never mind. Uh, I'll just hold Firebolt. Okay. Um, hmm. That b b brings us back up to c c c Commander. Um. Huh. See, Lily is still uh, held under, right? Yes. Okay. And still got your rope. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can do anything. has a rope now. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't do anything from up here. I don't want to climb down because it's a had Lillian's rope for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to hold an attack again. That's all I can only do. Okay. Uh, Lillian. You got a friend, and he's giving you a ha ha ha. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, um, oh, try and break free. We're breaking free. <laughs> it feels so bad for singing that. <laughs> I don't even like high school music musical. That you should feel bad. <laughs> uh, You're a bad person. You should feel bad. What would you like to think to do? You've got a pretty good idea, despite the fact you can't see it. you got a pretty good idea of where it is as it strangles you. Yeah. Um... I will do it to you on my three to bring free. Sorry, what? Um, I will do it to you to try and bring free. Uh, was that one three? Yeah. Uh, as you sit there struggling and fighting, you're, you're not able to b b b break out. Uh, and that is your a action for the yeah. yeah. And I can't move. <laughs> Anything else you wanted to do? Um... No. All right, that brings us to our Jugenta. All right, I'm going to move up next to Lillian since Lillian's being like strangled underwater. <laughs> and 
general idea of where this creature is, and I'm gonna recklessly attack the water. <laughs> Go for it. As you try to avoid hitting Luan. That's yeah. gonna be a 24 and a 19. But, but both of those hit? So you roll the, the, the damage? Um, that's gonna be 9 and 14. As you hit it, you do feel an, an impact on something thicker than water, uh, not doing quite the amount of force to it that you think you sh should be, but you are hitting it. Okay. Anything else? Nope. All right. Uh, it's water time. Uh, uh, at the beginning of uh, your t t turn, Lillian, you take 13 b bludgeoning damage as it c continues to try, or the be beginning of its t turn, uh, as it continues to, to try and c crush you. Uh, and then you see t two columns of water underwater just kind of come and s slam I I into you. First one, 21. Yeah. Second one, 19. Yeah. Both of those it, it hit you for another 13 bludgeoning apiece. Oh. So that's another 26 to get damaged. All right. Uh, this buddy gets up again. Again, still not pleased with that, uh, either of you. <laughs> He's going to move out and try attacking Vala again. Before he can get there, but both Vala and Commander see him. Do I see him from my vantage point on my back? Uh... Yeah, he's a, uh, a large creature, so yeah, you, you would. I don't think this is within range. Uh, is it within 30 feet? Uh, well, the cliff is 10 feet away and 20 feet high. So I'd say he's just the, the barely outside your range if it's just 30. Yeah, because what I was wanting to do with Thaumaturgy was to make a very loud sound originate from inside the water elemental to hopefully give us some kind of idea when it's going to pop out at us. That was my idea. Yeah, it's too far away, unfortunately. Yeah. Since I was holding it, it's not within range. So... All right, but, but Vala and Commander. Okay. Oh, would you like to go first? Uh, a 16 to hit. Uh, d d d definitely hit, hit, hit. We'll roll the, the, the damage. That would be 12 damage. It's starting to look a little bit rough. You're seeing little pieces of water just kind of splash off, off of it. Commander? I'm going to use my last grip point and do one more shove for shot. Or forceful shot, sorry. Uh, not, uh, you cut out a second. What did you roll? Natural 20. Good damn. Don't forget, you have inspiration. For... In case you um, need it on the so head. That, yeah. Um, oh, tough. Uh, 19 for the crit. And that uh, strength saving. I got a 16. Damn, that's the DC. Okay. Uh, a shot 
is uh, 18 to hit. Still hits. You can just roll to take a good damage. Uh, 14. starting to see more uh, bits of water kind of falling to the ground and it having to kind of reach down and kind of collect itself um, and it collects enough of it does an 18 hit you Vala? Uh, an 18 does actually and what about a 10 Ten does not, thank God. So it brings up one kind of column of water and slams down on you for 13 bludgeoning. As it tries to lift another one, uh, it just starts collapsing before it can even get, get to you, and you just get a slight spray. I start breathing heavily. A spritzing. Um, and it's going to t -t try and move at the back. all for those two uh, uh, Henri. I'm going to stand up so I'm not an easy target well easier target uh, and then I'm going to move so I'm right next to the uh, strong one in case you know the <laughs> happens again <laughs> uh, and just... as you're standing there uh, you feel uh, in your uh, are you right or left handed? Right. In your right hand, uh, it feels very heavy, much heavier than you think it should. And as you look down at the, the dagger that you stabbed the, the portal with, uh, the blade seems wrong. As you look at it more, there are uh, like just the kind of spray around it, and anytime. Uh, water from like the spray around it touches the, the blade of your d dagger it freezes okay I guess I'm gonna just hold an attack then and see what happens okay that's that's everything I just want to point out I've listened to the that song that I posted the name of like four times. I am not going to hold my action. I am instead going to use, cast Cure Wounds on myself at third level. Right? As Violet touches herself. Um, four. You got to put it like that, huh? <laughs> yes, it's in my contract, right? <laughs> so I go from nine hit points. All the way up to 25. Oh, right. hey. Now you can survive like... No, no, one. No. One hit. <laughs> but one is more than zero. Or, or surviving one is better than surviving zero. One is still more than zero to two. Uh, cool. You want to move or anything? Um, I will move back here. Um, is Lillian above water? No. No. Um, I will inspire Henri by giving him the thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up, buddy! You can do it! K 
kill it with ice? Oh, that feels so wrong. <laughs> so that's a bardic inspiration for you, sir. It's a D8? It is a D8. Okay. All right, then it brings us back to Commander. Your ally that you've been fighting side by side with slowly takes a step <laughs> to the left. What the heck? Um, this is just annoying. Um, you can almost die three times. You want to trade? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Um, I don't have... No, nope, that's all gone. Never mind. Uh... Oh, uh, and they have. Did you mark that you got a g -g -g grit back for your grit? Oh no, I didn't. Thank you. I totally forgot they get back. Uh, yeah. So then I will hold my action again. And a little forceful shot, or yeah, forceful shot in, in case one comes near us. Such a wash, rinse, repeat moment here. Did you just start calling it a critical hit when you crit? Just to remind <laughs> you. I like that. I, like, I like I should take advantage for that one. Yeah. So I, I, actually, uh, Henri, you can have uh, uh, inspiration. <laughs> Sweet. Get like <laughs> advantage on my next strength save. Oh, fire Where One. Problem is <laughs> Rest your arms away. Plant your feet. Stand up. Take a deep breath. And, um, and I'm better than right? Uh, yes. Oh, sorry. I think you're trying to get here to this. Sorry, what did you just say, say, say? I, I, I'm just gonna try to get to the surface. Oh, uh, it's only like two or th three feet. Oh, all right. So you're already just standing there. Uh, then I will turn around and um, It is hot in the base for them. Well, uh, it was your action oh. to, to oh. break out. You can move if you if you want. Yeah, I'll get to land. Alright, you do see a column of wa water moved towards you as you go, go, go away. Uh, that, that's a leaven. No. You easily sidestep. Uh, Argenta. Okay. Um, I guess where Lillian was and where I just saw, like, the column of water come out from, two more reckless strikes. Um, yeah. Uh, go, 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 go. For it. That one hit, but that one should. So 13 and 26. Uh, what was the first? 13. 13 misses the other hits. Uh, that's going to be 12 points of damage. Uh, right, as you're sitting there just whacking at this water. 
<laughs> Anything else? Nope. All right. So the creature appears, and I need uh, uh, Henri, uh, Argenta, and Lillian to all make strength saves. Do I get my attack before this? Uh, yes, you would. Okay. I got a seven, no, 18. Right. Don't think 14 will hit. Uh, 14 d d does hit, 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 hit. Oh. Hey. Uh. Roll damage plus 1d6 frost damage. All right, one second. I'm doing it separately because I don't know how to combine them. Uh, so seven from the silver dagger and four cold damage. That's how you. That's how you type that out. Ah, thank you. <laughs> I will use my inspiration for the strength save. Uh, I'll just take the so <clears throat> good good thing I did so uh, it will be a fourteen total for my strength save. Uh, okay. Oh wait, uh, I have inspiration. Sorry, I will use that. Sixteen. <laughs> And uh, Henri, when you strike it, instead of just uh, uh, hitting it, which gets you reload. Instead of just, you know, s s striking it, as you hit it, uh, it, it, it actually feels like you stick in something. And you watch as a large portion of the creature just freezes. And as you pull the dagger out, you can see the entire creature moving significantly more sluggish. Uh, you can see the water itself that makes up the creature uh, has become more congealed, almost like a gelatinous cube almost. Uh, and it seems very, very slow as you hit it. Uh, otherwise, uh, it has no more movement because you just slowed it out of its movement. Uh, and that's all, all it can do. do, do, do. Uh, again, you see your friend show up and try to g g get close to you, c c Commander. <laughs> Uh, you two are just becoming real good b b b b buddies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a friends. Mm. Uh, uh, twenty not natural. Uh, strength saving throw. Uh, that is 10 points of damage. 10. All right. Your second <laughs> shot. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Twenty-five to hit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And 12 points of damage. as it moves towards you, takes two, uh, or no, it's actually going to develop you. Strength save, please. 
Oh no, okay. Commander. Oh no. Not nervous at all. Uh oh man, I don't know. That's probably I don't know if I should use the indomitable or not. Uh, oh wait, aspiration. Uh the D eight? Uh, or D ten, I can't remember. D eight. Okay. D eight for inspiration. One on inspiration die. Cool. Uh, Seventeen total. Um, that's enough. You're just pushed out, and it does nothing because it's uh, now out of movement, and it doesn't have you. Inspiration for the win. Say two people actually. <laughs> Uh, that's its turn uh, Henri I'm gonna try and stab the slowed one again see what happens go, go, go for it. I don't know if that was a one time thing or what but I'll keep trying no that will not hit you that's swing at it you just it moves and it avoids you uh, rapidly seemingly not Pleased with the new weapon you wield. Anything else? Well, moving will get an attack, and I don't have anything for a bonus action, so no, I'm going to stay right there. Right. Uh, Vala. Your new friend tried to hug your friend you abandoned. I don't like that, that I abandoned. Yeah, you just ran away as the water thing is getting good, 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 good. Ha! Huh. Yeah, yeah, dick. <laughs> Finish it. So, I am going to... See, that's what the real thing was, is that the water uh, elemental came and just pushed you t- towards your friend to make things even more awkward. <laughs> Heart damage would be right there. I got a flare. It all up. I am going to cast Hex on it. Uh, is it a save or just, just, just work? Uh, you place a curse on a creature you can see within range. Until the spell ends, you deal one extra d6. Also, the target, uh, choose one ability, such as Strength, because it's so good at rolling it anyways. Uh, the target has disadvantage on ability checks made with the a chosen ability. Mm-hmm. So Strength ability checks are now at disadvantage and uh, that's my bonus action. Uh, for my action, I'm going to cast Firebolt. Go, 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 go. For it. Oh, no. That's, that's 11. I'm just so excited that I remember to do Hex. That... Okay, well, on... Certain that there isn't an invisible air elemental to its left. Excellent. And on that note, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, I'll go 25, I think. <laughs> yep, that's good. Uh, I'll, I'll remain there. I just look at her and go, son of a. <laughs> Ow. Bella, why are you running? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Commander, you're feeling awfully l- lonely. Like you could use a h- h- hug. Lonely. So lonely. Uh, oh, it's my turn. I am so lonely. Mm. I have nobody to call. Wait. Can't, can't hit that. No, no, no. <laughs> is it my turn? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Vala's right. at the end. No, I didn't know it was me already. Beginning. So every time she abandons you, you okay. can react yeah. right then. <laughs> so come on, Vala, let's get this. Oh, Vala. Vala. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> You got this, Commander. Um, I roll my eyes, and uh, since he's right on top of me, uh, 
Yeah, I'll just uh, use my rapier. Actually, is that it's gone? Okay, yeah, I'll use my rapier and just wail on it. Uh, 21. No, sorry, that's wrong. Well, hold on. Uh, it's just 20, not natural. And 25 to hit. Both of them. So that's eight. Uh, seven for the first and 11 for the second. Now I got sleepy. This is true. Yeah. At least I can actually do something. <laughs> um, um, no, I will. Hold on. Where's the thingy? No. No, never mind. I was, I was going to try and just turn my character. Yeah, there we go. I'll do just turn and face him. Right. And that's it. Right. Cool. Uh, 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 um. Uh, Lillian. Uh, um. See it, and it has a big old piece of ice att attached to it now. No, I want to be there. Where everything that goes on, when I do at my right at the moment, further go. I'd say when you t t took the rope out, you would have had to uh, sheath it, which would have de de deactivated it. Uh, uh, so I'll take my sword out. I'm not going to have a finger. All right. All right. And then I'll try with it. With it has ice. Eleven and sixteen. Eleven misses sixteen. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so yes. So that will be 10 damage. Alright. Anything else? Um, no. Alright. Our Genta. Now that I can finally see this thing, I mm -hmm. focus on the symbol on the center of my chest and I'm going to mark it with Planar Warrior. Okay. And now I'm going to aggressively attack. Remind me what the mark does. Uh, when I the first time I hit it on a round, I deal an extra D8 force. I deal an extra D8 of damage, and all the damage from that first attack is force. Oh, c cool. That's not going to screw up resistances or anything. <laughs> um, the first attack is a 24 to hit. It misses. Uh, wasn't fantastic, but 12 forks. Is that with the uh, extra? Yeah. Okay. And your rage damage? 
Yeah, I rolled a two and a four. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And then the second attack is a, uh, what is that? 20 to hit? And are you reckless seeing these or no, 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 no? I am. Got uh, 20 hits. Um, that's going to be 10 damage. Bludgeoning. All right, so again, you hit it. The first time as you hit it, there's this the burst of planar energy and you watch as the water coming from this portal kind of sh shivers and sh shimmies uh, as you hit this and this kind of wave of force uh, goes past then the second one just it, it hits like it ha has been anything else nope all right uh it's going to uh Take a swing actually at you because of that planar thing. Okay. Uh, 24? Yeah. And 18? 18 just hit. Total of 26 for, for, for bludgeoning. Okay, reduced by half. I'm still standing. Um. Uh, and that's all it, it does because it can't really m m move <laughs> or actually it is going to try and m m move but as it tries to go b b back into the water you see the uh, ice there is preventing it from becoming completely invisible however as soon as it gets to the water the ice starts to melt uh, so you don't know how long it'll be visible under water. Uh, the, the, the other one, uh, go and roll for it. Nope. Uh, it's going to take two swings at that commander. 21. Oh, yeah. And then a nat to 20. On the, uh, on the 21, I'm going to use cutting words. Okay, okay, okay. And tell it, your face makes onions cry. And three points reduced. Does an eighteen hit? Uh huh. Yes. All right. So still hits, but uh, it's calling its local senator because that was hate, hate, hate speech. Mm -hmm. You know. Water and calling water to tears, just that's a no no. They're they're d d different, they're completely s separate things, and thinking that they're not uh, is li liquidist. That's a term I never thought I'd hear, but okay. <laughs> uh, total is 26 de de damage, or no, 13 from the second, 20 from the first, so 33. Total. Ow. Okay. Rude. Nat 20s hurt. A little bit, so yeah. does liquid it is a... <laughs> You monster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's uh, or no, it's going to try and move uh, uh, away. Uh, Do I get attack? Yep. All right. For the rape here, that is a 22. Uh, 12 points of damage. Uh, still more hurt about the uh, comment than uh, your rape here. <laughs> uh, Man, that's on um, I realize that we're still a technically in sunlight, so I should have had disadvantage on all my attack rolls. But I'm next to it, so you have advantage. That's true. Okay, good. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was like, I should be having... Anyway, uh... Pack tactics are your best friend. <laughs> I guess I'm going to try with the dagger again. I'm going to put my faith in the app. 
that's a plus seven. Fifteen? Fifteen hits. Roll the, the, the damage. Uh, does it still have the cold D6 yep. thing? That is a permanent fixture. <laughs> Though you may not like the next aspect you're about to find out. Uh, two, well, I guess five piercing and uh, five cold. Oh, so many <laughs> freezing temperatures. Never mind my mind. Hmm. Find when it gets really cold, it g g g glows rather b b brightly. Uh, anything else? Uh, just stay there so I can get opportunity so attack. Again, you plunge the, the dagger into it, and again, you hit s something h h hard. And as you pull it out, you see more uh, ice and frost appearing on this c c creature. You can see c c cracks appearing uh, all over it. Uh, and then we go to Vala. Okay, well. I will say, uh, while you can't physically see it, because it's hexed, uh, you get the feeling that it's around that area. Hmm. <laughs> Well, let's see if I one, two, three, four. Mm. If I hadn't backed up so far, um, you do, do, do have the ability to. Yes, but I don't think I can move to get it within a 15-foot cone. Um, no, you're, you're, you're right about that. that, that, that. Uh, sorry. Okay, I will move up to here. Mm -hmm. uh, I will... Oh, I didn't need to do that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll move up uh, here just to get a little bit closer. I will... Yeah, I'm going to hold... Uh, I, I will hold, uh, sorry, uh, Firebolt. Right. That'll be my turn. Commander, apparently Vala is warming t t to you. Now you show up, thanks. Hey, um, I'm just a, 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 a delicate flower. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, I need to reload. No, yes, no. Yeah. So I'll take this one attack for a reload. And then. Sure, why not? I'll take a shot at the at this one. Go, go for it. Uh, another natural 20. That misses. Oh, so okay. <laughs> uh oh. Uh that's uh twenty three points of damage. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. <gasps> uh all right. It, it uh, definitely connects. And you actually watch as the bullet goes through, it actually leaves off. Hole, like a tunnel where it went through for about 10 seconds. Terminator. 
What? Like T2? Sure. All okay. right. Uh, that's my turn. You have a second sh- shot. He reloaded. No, yeah, no, I reloaded. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Lillian. Okay, so. Hmm. I think I will go attack again. You have advantage. Oh, oh, I. He has pack tactics. I think it's what? The wolf. Uh... Yeah, the wolf coat. It's back to tactics. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So. Oh, that beautiful beautiful bean. Yeah. Oh, that beautiful bean. Yeah. 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 Oh, that will be twenty six to hit. No, that will be thirteen. It's looking real rough. Uh, the parts that are frozen uh, are not really being lifted uh, off the water a- a- anymore. As much as it tries, you'll watch it just kind of b- 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 break, and then other pieces of it are just kind of sh- sloughing off. And that would be my turn. All right, R- R- G- 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 Jensen? Reckless attack. Um, that's going to be a 20 to hit. Definitely hits. It's going to be 14 force damage. <clears throat> How do you want to do, 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 do this? I just want to slam into it, and as I hit, all the ice just kind of burst upward. Okay. And it's a mace, right? A flail. A flail. So you sit there, and you start swinging the flail, and you can see planar energy starting to get gather uh, in, in the uh, uh, end of it. As you sit there, you b- b- bring it down, and as you slam it, you slam through all the water until t- you hit the solid piece of ice that's now kind of moved towards its c- core. As you hit it, sh- shards of ice go sh- sh- shooting out uh, with both Lillian and, and uh, Henri having to d- dive for cover to avoid being skewered b- b- by it. And when you b- b- both look up, you s- s- see uh, 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 Argenta just standing there uh, with planar energy still kind of c- c- crackling around her. her, her. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'll just start moving my way up here because I've been hearing them fight for ages. <laughs> and there's a Yep. It's, uh, um, it's water t- 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 time. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the creature appears again. He starts rushing t- 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 towards you. Uh, Vala, go ahead and t- t- take your sh- sh- shot. Natural 20. Hey. <laughs> Roll all that d- 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 damage. That's so, 2d6, 4d10. That is correct. Yeah. The, <laughs> it's, Vala basically fires that small gun from uh, Men in Black. <laughs> the noisy cricket. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. glad I'm your uh, Will Wheaton of this group for you guys to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> um. 15. 30 points of damage. 
I just want to, like, catch it, like, just as it's, like, le- you know, moving through the air, kind of leaping on Commander, and I just, like, hit it, and then, like, popcorn cause a little air bubble inside, and just cause it to explode all over Commander and a little bit on myself. So this huge wave of water starts rushing t- towards a c- Commander, gets taller and taller, you see it form t- t- two arms a t- torso, legs, and as it's diving towards him to just body slam him, you see this small b- beam of red light go into its very center, and it stops for a second, and air just starts forming massively quickly, explosively, uh, and you watch it just explode, and these kind of ch- chunks of jellified water just rain down on a- a- everything as Commander is just... Covered in, in, in it. Angrily, after having dealt so much damage to this thing and, he, and her getting the killing blow, I <laughs> her walk over with a right here and stab the ground. <laughs> <laughs> good. 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 Good call. I'm so. going to scramble up the rope unless, if, unless we're still in combat. I'm going to scramble up the rope and suggest can can we um possibly sit down for about an hour away from water? <laughs> yes. Here, let me create a warming bonfire. Let's go away from water, like here far. Place you're in right now is at the center of uh, again about a thousand foot in the diameter area of coral and water that is just getting b- b- bigger and b- 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 bigger as more water uh, pours out of the, this thing. Now, I guess I'll just sit down with like my legs hanging off the cliff on top of that rope and just watch the uh, thing while we're taking our short rest. And uh, since I am not great with weapons, uh, Argenta, mm. uh, apparently when I tried to stab that, now that I realize it's a portal, I don't know what happened, but it kind of made this dagger a little bit better, the one you gave me, and it's technically your dagger, so I'll give the dagger back. (laughs) It is the silver dagger. (laughs) Yeah. It is now uh, a frost brand dagger, which technically is not supposed to exist, but I like it, so it's a (laughs) magic weapon. Uh, it does uh, 1d6 cold damage anytime uh, you hit with an attack. Um, in freezing t- temperatures, it sheds a bright light in a 10 foot radius and a dim light for another t- 10 feet. And when you draw this weapon, you can extinguish all non magical flames within 30 feet of you. And the ah. property can only be, be used uh, once. Per hour. It's an anti so, so when Vala lights the inn on fire, I can save everyone. Um, but <laughs> theoretically, you can, until I light it on fire again. Well, you can get rid of all the non-magical fire, but the initial, you know, burst of magical flame will s- still be, be, be there. What I'm gonna test before I take this short rest. Is when I'm like down here. Can I planar warrior the portal? <laughs> uh, fantastic question. And we will find out the answer to that uh, next time, because uh, that is where we are going to, to end it uh, for this week. So uh, yeah. Thanks to uh, anyone that showed up. If you're watching this on the YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. I never say that. Turn on notifications because I'm supposed to say that too. Um, And feel free to tune in live. Uh, I run games every or every other Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Central.
Otherwise, this is that. See you guys next time. All right. Bye bye.